Hey guys, welcome to the Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time 3D walkthrough. All I have to say is, let's go. Okay, so this is the Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time 3D walkthrough. This game was remastered from its original version on the GameCube. So the graphics are better and of course it's in 3D. All right, so we will start a, our adventure. And we are off. Navi, Navi, where art thou, Navi? Alright, so, the great Deco Tree sends Navi to search for a boy who has no fairy. And Navi becomes his fairy. And you are the main character. You're the boy with no fairy. Now. This is the Kokiri Forest. And it's pretty big and there's a lot to explore from it. You, the main character, live in a treehouse, which is located here. Alright, base controls of the game, you use the circular pad, and that's pretty much it for this point in time. You can change the view, but you can just go. So welcome. To part one, Kokiri Forest. All right, so climb down the ladder, if that isn't obvious enough, and talk to Saria. I don't know how you pronounce some of these names, 
I'm guessing she's called Saria. So, anyway, first up, we have to go visit the Great Deco Tree, because he summons us. So, from your house, go to the right, until you see a guy who's blocking your path. So the great Mito will want you to buy a shield and get a sword. The sword itself is, I believe, easier to get than getting the shield. The shield costs 40 rupees, pretty expensive, and the sword, however, lies in a small hole. So from your house, to get the sword, move to the left, and go up this hill. Run through the maze. And then you'll come here. We'll teach you about L-targeting, and you can do backflips and stuff. And I believe if you do a backflip, you get a... Um... Blue Ruby. I'll play with that later. So, enter the hole of L. And you'll end up here. Here you can get a blue ruby. And ruby is the currency in the game. It's not a necessity. There's only a few things you need to buy with it. The rock will do, I think, a quarter of damage to you. So, if you would like to avoid it, then good for you. Now here's the Kokiri sword. Doesn't look long, but it's good to have a sword. Now they make you equip it in this game. It should come equipped. But you'll just go to your gear on the bottom screen and equip it. It'll be set to your B button. And you can use it to cut grass where you can get rupees and hearts and many other items in the game. Now you can cut grass and you can get rupees from it. The Deku Shield costs 40 rupees. You can get 2 rupees from a bush. And other places you just have to explore around. From the place where you got your sh sword, move up. This goes directly north. You'll enter, I believe, Mido's house. And he has rupees in there. The last one contains a heart. I'll heal your life energy by one. Now that you've done that, get some rupees here, and then get a blue rupee from behind Mito's house. So now we're at the 32 rupee mark. I believe if you have these stones, you get five rupees. I think it's called like the happy stones. So now we need three more. One place you can look is up here. 
a house to the right of yours. Walk along the path, and you'll meet a girl up there with five rupees. Now you can look around the forest with your view button on the bottom screen. Now that you've done that, travel down. You can dive, but not that deep. Now the shop is covered with a red hood. And the lady will be sitting on it. This guy will tell you that he sews shields, but not swords. You can buy recovery hearts, arrows, dagger seeds, dagger nuts, or sticks. Or a deku stick, my bad. Buy the shield for 40 rupees, and then you'll have to equip it. So we only have 2 rupees, but rupees aren't exactly a necessity in the game. You just need it to buy certain items, like shields, or masks. Alright, so now, we'll go back and visit the Great Mido. Now, we walk through the passageway. And this is where your sword is going to come in handy. Your first enemy will be here, Deku Baba. Though it looks withered, it will hurt you if you touch it. Now, I believe it only does half the damage, and they leave behind Deku's stick, which you can use to light on fire and will help you in dungeons. You can set it to a screen in the item. And that's it for this episode. Stay tuned for more.